My name is Keen. If you're new here, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, today's super exciting. We're actually gonna try to buy some sports cars from one of the owners and one of the most well-known sneaker shops here in the Bay Area, Soul Supremacy. Let's get into it. I'll just make a stack of the stuff that I like. Yeah, you, know, you know, honest, honestly, what I'm looking for is the stuff that's like top loaded already. You know what I mean? Oh, these are all raw. Yeah. These are like two new products. Cause like, just cause it's gonna take some work just to when you sell them raw, you got to look for them top loaded. That's a big thing I do when people when people hit me up when people hit me up asking for like to sell to sell um, bulk raw. I'm like, man, it's got to be top loaded already. Just cause just doing that. There's some nice stuff in here though. You know, like there's some autos right there. Vucevic, Ignis Brazdakis, Miles Turner, Giannis. Doesn't matter like, doesn't really matter like what year, people just look for Giannis. Doesn't matter what year, they'll, they'll pay for Giannis. A lot of Steph Curry's like this, someone, someone will always want, like doesn't matter if it's base or whatnot, kids just always want Steph Curry. This is their generation's Michael Jordan, you know what I mean? Not saying he's as good as Michael Jordan, but like when, when, when they grow up to be my age, when the kids these days who are collecting cards grow up to be my age, they're gonna start, they're gonna be asking for, hey, you got those, the, you got 2009 Steph Curry's or something like that, you know? Like the same we're asking for 86 Fleer Jordans. Chronicles football, what year is this? Jordan Love, this is this year. Or this is the, uh, the, the good year, I mean, yeah. Chronicles football. Even though I'm sitting on so much football right now, I thought I thought buying football wax was gonna be the move. And then the market took a, took a no one wants anything. <laughs> like you saw that, uh, that 2020 uh, hobby box that I was sitting on. I thought that would be like easy. I thought I would hold on to that for a day. Still Nobody it. wants it. I still have it, yeah. It's getting to the point now where it's like, I might as well just hold it, you know? Oh, Pokemon. I think my nephew might like these. I just put these aside for my nephew. Pokemon, that's what I call it. Devin Vassal. He's a, he's a Pokemon collector? He's a Pokemon collector. He's not really. I don't know if he is, but he just tells me like his, yeah, my, my, my friend has like, one that has like the highest HP. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna find you some high HP. I don't even know what I'm looking for, but I'll find, I'll find you some, some high HP. Hey, I'm thinking that he doesn't, got, he doesn't have the shiny stuff though. Luca, I gotta pick up some, <laughs> or maybe the right Luca. Oh, I see more right here. Chat, should we get, should we get some Luca? The right Luca. <laughs> Jordan Clarkson, I didn't even see these. Jordan Clarkson, Lou Williams, Lemon Pepper Lou Williams. Oh, two Luke Longleys. Let's go. Will Purdue. Yeah, these are these are a good stack of autos here. Best autograph in the game. Admiral Schofield. This stuff people ask for. Sadiq Bay, Silver Prism, Tyrese Halliburton. It's crazy how much these would drop now. I think they last sold for like five dollars for me. Last night I uh I put up a couple of posts that I was like buying. And then this morning I wake up to like nine DMs of people like looking to, to sell cars, you know? For the reason why, like if you notice, like a, there was a shift back like three months ago when I started posting that I was like buying, buying, and the content was like, I'm buying, I'm buying, you know what I mean? A lot of that was because I wanted to show like people on, you know, YouTube, Instagram that I'm a serious buyer. And I thought that it would bring in like a lot more business. And it definitely has. Like some of my most viewed stories are the ones when I post how much I've spent in the past like three months on cards, you know what I mean? But I talked with like some friends and, and close people when I want, when I consciously made that shift that I'm gonna start posting and advertising that I'm buying and the positives far outweigh the negatives because a lot of people are hitting me up. I'm making a lot more relationships and meeting up, meeting a lot of people from like one of the deals I did last night was actually two folks from Hawaii and they're telling me, man, come out to this uh, this car show that we have in January, you know what I mean? So it's, it's definitely opened up the, the doors in the hobby um, just to advertise and, and build the relationships like that. But anyways, I say that all to say that I got another DM that, and now I'm like six that I got to catch up to after we stop filming here. And now I got a text from my friend, Phil, who wants to drop off some cards to me. And I'm in soul supremacy, so he's gonna meet us out here. Busy day, man. I'm hanging out with Davis, man. Day in the life. What are you gonna do? Good. Life's good, man. I'm hanging out with Davis. You know I don't do Pokemon. Let's see. I don't know what it is. What is there? Is there is, is there a Pokemon in here? Oh, it's a whole uh let's see if this will work. I don't know if you guys do this, but sitting at 147. It's not bad. Let's see what it's selling for. I guess this is a quick tip. This is how you check for this is how you check for cards. You can't just check what it's listed for. You have to go to sold items and then check what it's sold for. 130 on bids from the United Kingdom. 160. Huh. I know they've got a lot more in uh, uh, they have a whole other like section that's all like shoes, but just you guys in the chat, 
or in the comments, how much do you think is in this room right now? Market value, market value. It's funny because when I made that shift to like constantly buy sports cards and be the guy to buy sports cards, a couple people made the comment to me. He's like, man, you're like the sole supremacy of sports cards. Cause then this is the shop that everybody comes to when you gotta like, you know what I mean? I don't know if you guys watch YouTube, but they got like, you know, cool kicks and round two where you come and trade in your shoes for new ones or buy new shoes or sell your shoes. This is the shop that in the Bay Area, this is the one that you come to. So it was kind of like a business model that I wanted to replicate myself to be like, I'm the one that I want them to think of when it's time to sell a sports car. You know what I mean? The same way when it's like, if I ask my friends like, man, where am I gonna sell these Jordans at? Everybody's always gonna tell you, soul supremacy, soul supremacy. It's something that I consciously try to replicate and it's cool to be in here right now and see how their operation works and possibly buy some cards from, from a former owner, Derek. See, this is why Davis is here. He found most of this stuff. <laughs> I just grab a stack and say, okay, that's pretty good. He found most, he found the Kobe's, he found the Zion, he found the Kevin Durant number to 25. He found the Luca number to 199. He found the Desmond Bain not in the top loader. That's why he's here. He's 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 way better at this than I am. Yeah. Oh, this, this is a, this is a nice stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, I this see something, something real nice right there. Yeah. You see a gold gold curry. Ooh. I've seen this on. I've seen this on on magazine articles. You see his refractor number yeah, PSA glass. ten. No wonder he just wants to get rid of all that other <laughs> stuff. <laughs> you gonna you selling these uh, on Golden? No, no, no. This, uh, this, 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 this is the PC. Like, to the grave kind of stuff. I feel that. Like, Bro, I this is. If it, goes, I mean, if it goes back up, I mean, it's gone down a little bit with the thing, but if it goes back up, maybe I'll give it to my son one day. And then That's crazy. Like, you got any Jordan flares in there? No, uh, I got the eight still here. It's in, uh, I gotta grab it uh, in the back. Jeez. What's this? What's what's that doing right now? What do you think the value on that is? It went bad, dude. This last one. Yeah. Uh, but the one that just sold on, um, I think it was sold on Golden. It was part of his signature was missing, missing like it streaked. Yeah. So it's like when people spend that kind of bread, though, it's like, I mean, some of this like I bought this like almost during peak. Yeah. But I sold a Jordan Nine Fleer. Um, at peak. At peak. So yeah. Like pretty much. Was that 80, 80 bands, 70 bands, something like, like that? I sold the Fleer for like 48. 48, okay. Yeah, and then this one I got it for like 42. Right now it's probably like 20, 25 oh, okay. or whatever. So you would have lost if you held on to the, the, but I the Jordan any, yeah, anyways. I basically did a swap and yeah. the Fleer is going less than this. Yeah. So it's like, it is what it is. You and know? the Fleer is dropping, is, because of, is it because of the star? You think because that's why? You know what I mean? Like how PSA is starting to grade that I now? I think it's just the economy too. Economy you know, in general? Like it's just like, they, they just, uh, they just going down. But. You that's know, crazy. Just, I just thought of it for me personally. I just thought of it as like as a pop thing. Yeah. Because I think this is like probably pop like hundred or two hundred. Like it's lower end, but the Fleer is like almost three K. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, does it, it's not sustainable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, bro, how much time you got? You got like fifteen minutes, something like yeah, that, yeah, or yeah, okay. Minutes. You want um, to this out? You can put it away. They can put it away. Yeah. Wait, I'm getting nervous with it just <laughs> sitting on the edge right there. I'm like, <laughs> you know. But he was, he was the number one, I mean, according to him, but like I've heard stories, but he was the number one Steph Curry collector, like almost out there. Yeah. Uh, when when the first cards first started and then like he sold probably like in 2013, 2014, he had everything, bro. Yeah. Like. And now is it you? <laughs> are you, are you, are you, are you the number one Steph Curry collector now? But he had uh, like, uh, he had the gold refractor Curry and yeah. his jersey number. <sighs> sold that shit. Like, yeah, he's, I mean. At 2013, you, you couldn't tell that he was going to be yeah, yeah, yeah. what he was going to yeah. be. It was still would have been Blake Griffin probably been the best yeah, yeah, yeah. investment yeah. at that or time. Tyreek, you know what I mean? Or, or Tyreek. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like, we have all have our horror stories, but some of these dudes that collected cards, they got their yeah. horror stories. I like, know. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, ah, oh, I had this and I bought it for 5k and the next dude sold it for like 300 grand. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 That's why you just hold on to everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never you sell anything. That, you know you what can't. I mean? Yeah. It's like, you got to take an L, yeah, man. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got, so. see, I, I think that would be worse. Like if I had a card and sold, rather than ne never buying a card, yeah. like an NFT or whatever, never yeah. buying it. Like if yeah. I never bought a board eight, right? Yeah. That hurts. But if I bought one and sold it at 50, it hurts more. that hurts a yeah, lot yeah, more. Yeah. You know That's what I mean? That's what I tell like, my friends. Like, I never had this. Yeah. So I can't even think about like I would have had it. Yeah. But it's like if you physically had it. Yeah. And then you messed up, then that's when it's like, 
it gets that pain. So you, like everyone around here views you as like a guy that like successfully hustled, successfully did it, are where you are now. Like what advice do you got for like young hustlers, young entrepreneurs, young business owners to try to get to like that next level, you know what I mean? I mean, number one is just your dedication to your craft. You know what I mean? Like if you're not dedicated, you're not gonna be successful. Um, and just, you gotta keep the hustle, you know? Mm -hmm. And what's good is like for you, it's like you're starting off slow and you're doing it by yourself. So you're going on your own pace, you're learning, and you're making mistakes, and but you're making gains too, you know what I mean? Um, and just be consistent. Mm -hmm. Like if, if you get out of track, then it's like, it, you could go this way. But if you kept on track, you could go this way. And you know, you just gotta choose your path. And I say consistency is key and just, you just gotta keep that hard work. And just like you're doing now, it's just like, you just on the road and you're picking up. I saw your uh, call your story the other day, and you're like, "Oh, I just I normally don't drive to yeah. do one deal or whatever." But sometimes you just got to do that yep. because that's what's going to keep the business and that's what's going to keep the hustle going. Once you get like complacent, where you're like, might feel like you're too good to do this kind of stuff, then it could also be your track. So it's like stay humble and mm. stay aggressive. Where it's like, hey, that deal I'm making X amount is worth a drive. You know what I mean? And, and you did that, yep. and so you just got to keep that mindset. Um, but also, your time is valuable. You know what I mean? So. Like balance, I also would say, cause myself, I'm a hustler. Like I burned myself out over the years, mm. but like keep that good life and work balance and, and you'll definitely take it much farther. Like how long you been doing this now? Like almost 15 years. 15 years. Like was there ever times where you were just like, like almost getting out, like whether you were just like, man, I'm done. Or like, I wanted to quit or like, you, cause you said like, you got to keep the determination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like was, were you just like, nope, failure is not an option. Like. What's that mindset? Cause like, I know like for every, every, at least for me, like, you know, you gotta take your lumps as an entrepreneur. Like yeah. there's been times where like, man, this shit is like, it's easier to just get a W2. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like go, go, go work for somebody else, get the paycheck yeah. coming in, you know? Yeah. So I guess, how do you, my, my question is like, how do you persevere through that? What's your mindset like? I don't wanna say like a lot of it's luck too, but like a lot of what we did like just happened organically. Mm. It wasn't like forced. Like when we started or when I started myself solo, like there wasn't Instagram, like mm. there, barely was probably Twitter, but that still was like maybe like two years into it, where it's just like, when I started, it was like Craigslist. So yeah. I had that like straight, like had to hustle, hustle. Like people didn't come to me, I got to go to them. Yep. Um, but it's all just part of life and growing, you know yeah. what I mean? And you just got to find yourself and who you are. So right now you're enjoying it, you like it. If you truly enjoy it and it's providing you the life that you want to live, then you just continue to progress. Yeah. Um, but there might be a time where you're just like, you do want that W-2 and you just want the less stress because it is stressful running your own business and doing things yourself and stuff like that. So I think a lot of it is just like growing as a person mm -hmm. and then you just figuring out, is this truly what I want to do in life? Yeah. And it's gonna come to you. Man, that, that's just a quick, you know, I just wanna take your yeah, time real quick. Yeah. I'm sure like I'm forgetting a lot of questions that I wanted to ask this man, cause so, I've been yeah. like thinking about it. So <laughs> just promise me that like, uh, if the comments, like, you know, they, you guys wanna uh, ask a question, we could do like a part two or yeah, something like yeah, that yeah, down yeah. the line, you know what so, I mean? Okay. That was it, man. We got a, a chance to hang out here at Soul Supremacy. If you guys are ever here in the Bay Area, this is the spot to buy, sell, and trade your sports cards, uh, sports cards, sneakers. <laughs> Maybe, well, no, you're out of yeah, sports yeah, cards. No. <laughs> no. I'm just a collector now. You're just a collector now. So if you wanna uh, buy, like you look behind you, you got, sneakers all up and down the wall so if you want to buy sell and trade your sneakers this is the shop to go to and uh thank you guys for watching shout out to davis shout out to Derek. catch you on the next video oh, man. Hey, brother.